this was an amazing experience for me, and uh, I, I'm sure I won't be able to articulate all my thoughts about it here in this quick video, but um, these child soldiers were uh, completely taken advantage of during the war. We, we talked to so many of them, and, and at the age of 10 and 11 and 12, the generals would prey upon them and give them drugs, and they would fight for years and years and years and grow up in this lifestyle, all in the hopes of pleasing their general. And then at the end of the war, the generals abandoned all the boys. We talked to an awesome guy by the name of Eugene, who was uh, one of General Butt-Naked's child soldiers and told us his whole story, and, and we'll post his whole story so you can see the video of him speaking for himself. So he was living in a grave, he was addicted to drugs. They would, they would break open the tomb, clean out the bones, and then live in the tomb. They'd put some cardboard over the top of them or palm leaves to keep them out of the rain. And that was their life. Their, their only purpose in life was to uh, steal to get drugs. And so Joshua one day came to him in the graveyard and said, hey, listen to me, I wanna change your life. And he said, no, I don't wanna to talk to you. Uh, I'm, I just want drugs, give me drugs like you used to. And so Joshua went out and got him some cocaine. Um, so he went and got him some cocaine and once uh, Eugene had settled down, he convinced him to come into the program and told him that he would give him a better life. Joshua has gone through seven generations of boys to bring them in and rehabilitate them. He's on his seventh generation now. It's a six month program. He brings them in and they create rules they learn how to work as a team. So there's no smoking, no drinking, no sleeping outside, no gambling, no lying. And they have the rules. As soon as you walk to the front door, you see the rules posted there. You see the rules posted in, in the study area. You see the rules posted in their rooms. And then he begins to teach them Christianity. He teaches them skills so that they can live in life. And there are three skills that he teaches specifically. One is how to drive so that they could potentially become a driver. And then he teaches them French because right next door to Liberia is the Ivory Coast. Um, the other is to paint. And he talked a little bit about how painting helps them work together as a group. It helps them get some of their frustrations out and it's very therapeutic for them. And so I saw these paintings on the wall and uh, asked them about them and they told me about developing the skills. And, and so you saw the video I asked for the painting and they, they cheered when I paid them. $20 and this has now become one of my most prized possessions. The unique thing about this painting is um, all of the boys contributed to this one painting. And so I asked them about it and they said, oh, that was a teamwork painting where we learned teamworking and so we all painted it together. And that's when I asked if they would all sign it. Um, all of these boys are um, college age, early college age, when they should be you know, learning and, and building a career, most of them were just contributing to violence and, and uh, horrible things there in Liberia. So one of the challenges that the JAV has, the Journey Against Violence has, is funding. They have no means of revenue. The only way that they get money is from uh, Joshua selling his documentary and preaching and begging for money. I gave him a little bit extra money, but I thought uh, maybe we could post these paintings for auction and people could bid on them and then a hundred percent of the proceeds would go towards the JAV. Uh, so let me know what you think about that in the comments if you'd be interested in participating in something like that. Uh, I do have a, a direct contact with those guys now and I really hope to be able to support what what Joshua is doing. So let me know if you have any recommendations either in the comments or message me and I really, really want to make sure that we help these guys out. It's a tremendous cause. He's got an 88% success rate with turning around these child soldiers and making them contributing members of society. So it's tremendously valuable what he's doing.